What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, guys. How we doing? Um, before we start the vid, guys, drop a like. So if you're new, um, you drop a like, you qualify for a chance of winning 10k MT. Uh, 35 likes on the video. Actually, no, 40 likes on the video, and we will give away 10k MT to a random sub, to a random commenter. Just be sure to drop the like, drop the sub. Three to five videos a day. Helpful videos, gameplay videos. Um, this video is going to be on how to make MT, how to make MT quick, what to do, what's the most effective ways to make MT. Um, my team is no money spent, and this is what I got so far on my team. Um, we got no money spent team right here. It is pretty solid, let me tell you. Like, I got a pretty solid bench. I got Bradley Beal, Zach Levine. This is my whole bench. So my collection is pretty full. I've been grinding very hard. And this is no money spent right here. I still got 10K and I actually just sniped out of Zion and I sold him. So this is what I've been doing to make MT. So first off, let's see if they fix this. Did they fix this yet or is this still broken? Okay, that's still broken. So how I've been making it my MT. So first off, domination is a great way to make MT. So I have done a pretty decent amount of games and these are the rewards. So... First of all, not only do you get MT per star, you get about a thousand, I would say minimum MT each game, plus all the bonuses, like you get MT for getting 66 stars, 33 stars, and you get to Sam Jones, so that's definitely good ways to get MT right there. Um, some really good, really good filters, I would say. The auction is broken right now, but I'm going to show you what you could do uh, to make some more MT, so... This is what I like to do. Honestly, right now, since the auction is broken, the only way you can really make MT off the auction is literally by searching the name and scrolling. Like, the auction is so broken right now, and it's really annoying. I just sniped out a Zion for 1K. Um, I'll actually throw up the screenshot. I sniped one for 1K yesterday and 1K today. I only have one of the screenshots, though. But yes, I have sniped out three, no, two Zions so far. I sniped out a Giannis earlier for 70K. I did not, I do not have the, uh, Screenshot on that though, but as you can see he is in my collection So I sniped him for 70k is about 90k. So that's a pretty good snipe um, I sniped out a Ben Simmons for cheap. I sniped out a Luka Doncic for 5k. Uh, I think I have the screenshot I'm not sure. Let's check his price um, Literally by searching names and scrolling is probably the best way to snipe right now I've been staying on Perzingis and Doncic a lot because they're high sapphires a lot of people think they're cheap But they're really not uh, maybe if the auction co uh, cooperates with me, that would be nice. Yeah, it's just being stupid, I guess. Let's see if we go over here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So, like, as you can see, the auction is still broken. It's very hard to make snipes and make MT. But it also kind of gives you a, uh, what's it called, a higher chance of sniping just because so many people are frustrated with the auction. Like, not a lot of people are sniping. A lot of cards are thrown up there and sitting for, like, that extra minute. So right now, it's a very good way to make MT is by trying to freaking dissect the auction pretty much. Just by dissecting the auction, playing domination. So like, this is my routine. I would go into Triple Threat online. I'll play a couple games. I'm 3-0 in Triple Threat so far. Um, you get some MT from there. I would say you get about minimum 500 MT from there. Right after that, you hop on a snipe filter. A good snipe filter that sometimes work if the auction isn't lagging. Uh, I go Ruby, I go to 2,000 maximum bid, let's see if it actually works. I go to maximum buy, let's just say around there, see, but this is the problem. So to get rid of this shack, this glitch, what you want to do is you want to hit enabled so you don't see him. So these are the cards that pop up. We got Jokic, Jokic was 5k yesterday. If you're watching this video, do not buy Jokic for 9k. Um, 6k is pretty good price, not bad. Um, and B. So this is what I'm saying. Um, now the auction block is finally working. Let's see if it's still working. Okay, yeah. So it's cooperating right now, but you'll see that it usually doesn't. Also, a very good player to snipe is Clay Thompson. I missed a snipe on him for 15k. He's around 23. So let's check his price. Let's see if the auction is good for him. All right, yeah. So it's 22k, 20k. All right. So yeah, as you can see, this Clay Thompson is actually very active. We got. Three cards, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five cards in the last 10 minutes posted. So that's very good. I always check Zion. I always check Doncic. I always check Kristaps Porzingis as well. Uh, let's go over to Kristaps. 
Listen, there's really no snipe filters considering the auction block is broken. So, by looking up players, it's good. Especially Sapphires. If you know any Sapphires are going for a good amount, like Kristaps, Luka, and some Rubies that go for a lot, like Clay Day, maybe even a Kyrie snipe would be good. And high gold players. Gold players that go for a lot. Also, Silvers that go for a lot. You want to just really flip through names. That's pretty much how I've been sniping the last couple days. Uh, the last day or two, I should say. The game's only been out for a day. But yeah, I've been going through Zion a lot. I've been seeing a lot of snipes on Zion. Kristoff, look at that. 5,500. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to make a quick 1,300 stubs right there. Uh, not stubs. Coins. So, another great method. Uh, so he's going for 74. He's going to sell quick too because everybody's obsessed with Zion. Um, he's just a beast. I love him. I actually play with him. He plays very well. Right there, we got a snipe on video. Uh, for about 7k, we're going to make a pretty decent amount of coins right there. Uh, let's check out Clay Day, see if we get another snipe. So right now, to make MT, uh, you also could do uh, single player. I already talked about Domination. There's unlimited bonuses. You get... No, no, what am I saying? The agenda. So by just doing this every day, you got 16 hours left on the clock. Just play a Domination game, an unlimited game in that. About 600 to 700 MT from that. Uh, you get all the MT from here. Get all the MT from here. Also, if you pre-order the Legendary Edition, you got a, f a bunch of MT. So, that's pretty valid. Um, let's see. So, pretty much all the ways to make MT right now is sniping and simply playing the game. Uh, domination is very recommended. Like, I literally would just keep playing uh, Domination. Also, this Spotlight Challenge is... Gives you a ton of MT. We got 200 MT, 400 MT, 600 MT. We got the tokens. We got 800 MT, 1,000 MT, 1,200 MT, 6 tokens. So this challenge here also gives you 1,500 MT, 1,800 MT, 2,000, 2,500, 5,000, 7,500 MT. Right there um, is a ton of MT. We're talking like 20,000 MT minimum for playing the 17 games. All those tokens... Plus, you get a Diamond Alonzo Morning, and you get a Dwayne Wade uh, Emerald, which you could literally evolve to, I believe, a Ruby. I'm not totally sure. We got a Moments Challenge, 2,500 MT, 4-minute quarters, very easy. Uh, pro difficulty game, it should be very easy. You get a quick 2,500 stubs, uh, coins, plus how good you did in the game. So, that is pretty valid. So, right there, you're going to get about 3,200 coins for one game. That's pretty valid. That's a good sniping amount. And you get six tokens from that. So, pretty, 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 like, good. You can make MT a ton of different ways. Triple Threat's a very good way to make MT, too. Especially if you get the pack with Diamond Contracts. Now, playing Triple Threat and you pull a Diamond Contract. Let's see what they're going for. They're going for around, I believe, 10-ish K. Maybe 15-ish K. Let's check. I saw 20, 18, 17, 15, uh, let's see, so I saw 15k, 14k, maybe we can snipe one, so 14k, so now if you're playing triple threat, you're grinding, you get the MT rewards, and you also get a chance to get in the diamond contract, and I was watching Carlos' story, he pulled two diamond contracts on a five ball drop, that is a solid about 25k, I would say, after reduction made, so that's pretty valid. Um, I'm trying to think of more players you could... Oh, another good player you could snipe is Kyrie Irving. Uh, a lot of these rubies, for some reason, are actually very active on the auction block. More than the sapphires. It's just kind of crazy. So, let's look up Kyrie, see if it's still lagging. Yeah, so as you can see, the auction's broken. It's really annoying. Literally, the only way you can look it up is by scrolling, which is crazy because... Who really wants to scroll through all this? Like, it's just a waste of time. You can't even look up a buy now price. 2K needs to fix the auction. It's, like, really annoying. It's glitchy. You can't look up anything. It's just simply broken. Oh, 7,900. Oh, my God. Look at that. So, see, now, with the everything, like, look at that. I just got a sniper, 7,900. He's about 15K. So, what does that say, dude? Literally, my Zion sold. Right now is the best time to snipe just because... You could get anything. Like, I just sniped out another Kyrie. Uh, I've been sniping up the player. Like, for instance, I'm going to look up Clay Day. Uh, for some reason, with him, you can actually look up the maximum buyout. With Kyrie, you can't. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me. I haven't put it together yet. 
But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's just how the auction block's working. Um, it sometimes works when you put up a lot more buy now price up. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed all the different ways you can make MT early in the game. Uh, that's all I got. Have a good one. Peace. Make sure to drop the sub. Like. That's it. Peace. Tomorrow, take it flat.